Taurus, thanks for visiting. This is your weekly reading for April the 16th. This is your weekly reading. I'm not seeing this very clearly, am I? I'm trying to do this quickly so I can get through this and get the messages out to you. But this is silly because you can't understand anything I'm saying. Yes, you know this is your weekly reading. This is from April the 16th to April the 22nd. And as always, if you like this reading, please like or subscribe or leave a comment. I know I always have to say that, don't be angry. So yes, um, I have everything ready as well. So I'm just going to start your reading for Taurus. Lovely Taurus. The first card you have your past is a three of wands. Yes, yeah, so this is about, this card's about watching, this card's about waiting, and that's what I'm seeing is happening um, with this card. And someone was watching, someone's waiting for a sign from you or something like that, sitting around waiting and thinking, oh, I wonder if I, if I can see what they're thinking. What are they thinking? Should I contact them? I don't know, I'm just sitting here waiting for a sign. It's that kind of thing. This could be an ex, this could be someone who um, you're involved with before, or something like that. And yes, I saw this watching, I saw this watching in your last reading, but it was more like a kind of a stalking, that kind of thing. But this one's a lot, this just feels a lot softer, a lot gentler, and I'm not getting, um, I'm not getting the stalking feeling, I'm not getting spying or anything like that. This is a kind of a patient feeling, it's kind of waiting patiently and kind of waiting for some sort of sign, waiting to see how you feel, that kind of thing. And um, they could have been wondering whether you're with someone else, maybe you are with someone else, I don't know, but that's what they were wondering and thinking. It was kind of, they were thinking, oh, is it right for me to approach this person? I'm thinking about it, I'm waiting to see how they think, all that kind of thing. There was someone waiting, there was someone watching out to see whether they could kind of test the waters, if that makes sense, and um, this person's looking out to see. <clears throat> Excuse me, so the next card you have, you passed, is the Knight of Wands. So yes, you might not have noticed this person <laughs> in the Three of Wands, because um, you might, they might not have been around you, but also because I'm seeing you're very, very busy. This is what this is showing me here. You're very busy, you're trying to achieve things you wanted to achieve. And I'm also getting this kind of out of control feeling as well around this. So I'm seeing, you know, if you look at this knight, he's trying to control this horse, but the horse is kind of jumping all over the place. And um, I'm seeing someone, um, this could be more than one person actually, and they could be trying to derail you or to set you off track. So there's some people trying to set you off what you're doing in all sorts of different ways. Maybe they're just interrupting you. Maybe they don't mean to do this. But there is one person who's definitely trying to um, put you off a bit. Now, I'm not seeing they're trying to put you off on purpose. But what I'm seeing is this particular person might be trying to um, question you about things. They might be a little bit defensive about things. I'm seeing them asking you lots of questions trying to kind of put you under a microscope if that makes sense and then they're trying to question you oh why do you say that why do you say that that kind of thing and then they take offense over what you say but they asked you in the first place now i'm not saying you're trying to um be horrible to them or anything like that but you are very honest you are very honest and you're coming across as being very very honest not blunt, not rude, not horrible, but they're just very, very offended by everything you say. And I'm seeing this person's actually trying to get attention from you. Because if they didn't like what you were saying, why would they keep on asking you all these questions over and over again? If someone says something I don't like, I either think, well, is this true or not? I don't know, I have to think about that. Or if I really don't like this person, I won't keep asking them. I'll probably just walk off and leave them there. But this person's here, they were trying to keep on, um, they were keeping on, well, they were trying to keep on asking you questions. That's what they were doing, bothering you again. And I know this is in your past, but if this resonates, you might just have to say to them, um, you know, I don't mean to offend you. You asked me the question, I just answered. And now I'm very sorry, whatever. I'm just going to have to move on now. I'm not going to keep on um, bringing the, this up again and again and talking about why you're offended and going over this and arguing over and over again. This person really just wants your attention and you're very busy anyway. You don't want to deal with this. I'm just seeing this um, saying, you know, opening up wounds, reopening wounds, that kind of thing. So they're trying to go over and over and over things over and over again. And this wasn't helping anyone. It wasn't helping them feel any better. It wasn't helping you. It just wasn't doing anything. So 
yes, if this is still going on, just try and say, I'm very sorry, I can't have this conversation anymore, I've apologized, I can't do any more, I'm just going to have to move on, please don't discuss this again, it might be something like that. Um, because you're not getting anywhere with this person, that's what I'm seeing. So the last card you have here passed is the Six of Cups. So yes, again, um, look at this, reunions. This is what I'm seeing with this card. This is the reunion card. This person in the Three of Wands was thinking about seeing you again. And, you know, again, I'm not seeing stalking. I'm not seeing anything bad or anything like that. It's just a kind of hopefulness. And I'm seeing here that this person hasn't actually or hadn't contacted you at this time in your past yet. They probably were thinking about it, and I've seen that they probably will soon, actually. I'm just looking at, um, there's a man on the left-hand side of this card. You probably can't see, it's very, very, very small. It's on the left-hand side, and he's walking away. He's walking toward the building, or the house, or the castle, or whatever that is. He's walking away, and I'm just seeing that, um, that's just making me think that they were thinking about time passing, and they're wanting to make contact before the time passed. So they wanted to talk to you before it was too late and before you'd walk away, before you weren't there anymore, that kind of thing. Um, that's what they were thinking about. That's what I'm picking up from that card. So the first card you have here present is the Page of Swords. So yes, <coughs> excuse me, this is about this person in the Knight of Wands, I think. The person who was trying to put you off, trying to question you, trying to bother you. This is a person who is quite immature. I'm seeing this immaturity here and I'm seeing that, um, yes, they're very sensitive about things. They're very sensitive about things. Even if things aren't important, they'll be very sensitive about it. If someone said to them, oh, your shoelace is undone, they'd be offended over that. It's ridiculous. So this person's like this. They're just over the top and they do it for attention, I'm seeing. This is a very immature person. And I'm just seeing them being, um, just be very careful because I know you're going to have to say, distance yourself from them because you don't want to spend time with all of this silly attention seeking, silly stuff. But yes, you're going to have to say something to them and you're going to have to be a little bit careful, a little bit diplomatic around this person. Because what I'm seeing is they might be um, vengeful, you know, seeking revenge. This person has a sword. They don't look very happy. Yes, they're a young person. They're a bit immature. They look a bit angry, though, and they have a sword. You don't want to tackle an immature, silly person who's unreasonable that has a sword, do you? No. So you have to be very careful with how you approach them. So be very careful, be very diplomatic, and you know, just handle this person very, very carefully. And I think if you know, if this resonates, you know this person well, you're very smart. I think you know how to handle this person. The next card you have for your, I'm sorry for that noise going on outside. Oh, it's so frustrating. Um, yes, the next card you have for your present is the Eight of Cups. So yes, look at this. Someone is going to come back again. This is what, I, this is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing that, you know, one of you walked away from a very emotional situation. If you look at this, um, if you look at this card, there's a wall of cups on this card, on the a wall of emotion. And somebody walked away. This man's walking away, but he's got, he's going to walk around this hill and come back around again and come back to the cups. That's what I always see in this card. I don't see someone leaving forever in this card. I don't. I always see them going around the hill and coming back again. And the other reason why I see someone coming back again is because if you look at um, the water in this card, it's heading back. It's flowing back toward the cups. So it's flowing back to the situation that this man walked away from. So he's going to come back and the water's coming back, the emotion's coming back to the wall of cups, the emotion's coming back. Somebody is coming back to you. That's what I'm seeing, definitely. Um, yes, they're coming back to an old emotional situation, an old romantic situation. I don't know if you're happy with this person coming back or not. I'm not seeing that clearly. But this is what I keep on seeing. I keep seeing this person coming back to you. The last card you have here present is the lovers. Yes, here we are. So I'm seeing Obviously, this is about lovers, but also this is about choices. This is about choices. So, I always see that in this card, but I'm definitely seeing this here because, yes, 
that's why I was getting I wasn't sure whether you were happy to see this person back or not because you're going to have to make a choice about them and um, yes I'm seeing you going down a path you're going down one path and you're quite happy going down this path maybe you walked away from this person or they walked away from you and then you know you got over things kind of and you're going quite well and you're improving as you went down the path things were improving but now it hasn't been an easy path actually you've had a lot of you've put a lot of work in to go down this path but now what's happening is this person might be coming back to contact you at this time this might set you back again you might want to go back again to them again now I can't tell you what to do only you know what to do what I'm seeing here is that this man is looking at this woman in the lover's card. He is looking directly over at her. She is looking up at the angel. So she's thinking, uh, what I'm seeing in this card, I'm sorry if you're a man, but this is what I'm seeing in this card, is that you're represented by the woman in this card. And the person coming back to you is represented by the man in this card because he's coming around and he's looking at you. He's thinking, look at this person. I want to be back to them. I'm looking at them. My focus is on them. Your focus is up at the angel. And if you look at the mountain, the mountain's pointing up to this angel. This is the path you've been on. You've been on a path of self-improvement, getting better, feeling better about yourself. And now you have a choice. Do I want to keep looking up at this angel or do I want to look back at this person that's come back for me? You have a choice. You're also standing in front of this tree with you know, a snake in it and an apple. Here is the choice. Shall I take this apple like Eve or shall I not? This is the choice you have. I can't tell you what to do. That's what I'm seeing. You have a choice to make in this card. The first card you have for your future is the King of Swords. So yes, I'm just seeing you trying to stand firm, trying to be still, but maybe having to change in some way. Or maybe just the change is going on around you, trying, someone's trying to convince you to do something. It might be this person in the lover's card trying to convince you to come back to them, trying to talk to you, trying to convince you. But you're not going to be swayed. I'm not saying you're not going to come back to them. What I'm saying is that you're going to be really sure that when you make up your mind, it's going to be your mind. It's going to be your choice. It's not going to be anyone else's choice. It's going to be yours. If you look at this King of Swords, he's very, very firm. He's very still. He's very serious. He's standing there. Behind him are a lot of clouds, a lot of birds. Everything's flying past in the breeze. That's what I'm seeing. And he's sitting there very still. His robe isn't moving around. Nothing on him is flying. He's still, but everything around him is flying past. And you're not going to just get up and walk up with whatever's flying past. Oh, look at that. I'll follow that. Oh, look, I'll follow that trendy thing. Oh, I'll follow that person. Oh, I'll follow them, what they say. No, you're very strong. You're earth. That's what you are. You don't just follow whatever comes past. You know your own mind. Now, you might go back to this person. You might take this choice or you might not. But it's going to be your choice your choice. You're not going to listen to someone else trying to convince you. That's what I'm seeing there. The next card you have for your future is the High Priestess. So yes, you have very firm beliefs. Look at this High Priestess. She's very still. She's very quiet. She's sitting there. She's very peaceful, but she's not going to be moved. She has her beliefs. She has her beliefs you do not change your beliefs very often. You don't follow whatever comes past. And I'm also seeing that, um, yes, I'm also seeing that because you have very firm beliefs, you're a very strong person. People see you as very strong. People see you as someone who they ask um, advice. They ask your advice um, thing about things, about questions. I'm seeing someone could be coming to confide in you. This could be a family member because I'm seeing this as um, someone who you've known for a long, long time. Look how still she is. She's not moving. So this is someone you've known for a long time, not someone that's just come in. And they might be telling you a secret, actually. That's what I'm seeing. Um, you'll definitely keep the secret to yourself because this person trusts you. They know that you're not going to tell people whatever this is. But I am seeing this could be a very serious thing that they're going to tell you. So you are going to keep this to yourself. But you might advise them to actually speak to someone else. You might advise them to report it to someone else, an authority, an 
might be a very serious thing and that's why you feel that you need to keep this to yourself because you need this person's asked you to you don't want to break their confidence but also this is a very important thing so it might be something that needs reporting it might be something that needs talking to it might be someone that they need to speak to a counselor maybe an authority about something so I'm seeing that you're probably going to advise them to go and do that themselves. That's what I'm seeing now. I hope that makes sense. I know that's very specific, but that's what I'm seeing. So the last card you have in future is the Page of Pentacles. So yes, this person in the High Priestess could be younger than you. They look up to you. They look up to your strength. They look up to your stability because your Earth, look at him looking up to that pentacle. He thinks, I look up to this person. I could totally trust them. They're like a rock to me. I can confide in them. That's how they feel about you. Yes, this person could be younger than you. This person could be a student as well. Um, and yes, I'm seeing again that you're going to be asking them to find some sort of outside help with their problem. They definitely trust you. That's what I'm seeing. And yes, again, I'm seeing you're a rock to them. Look at them looking up to you. But yes, um, you might be telling them to go and seek someone outside of you to help them. That's what I'm seeing. So Taurus, I hope this resonated, but as you know, general readings won't always resonate with every single person. But again, if you like this reading, please like or subscribe or leave a comment if you'd like to. Thank you so, so much for watching.